Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and in this video I'll be showing you 50 different Minecraft builds slash decorations that will help improve your Minecraft world. Now right now I'll have a list popping up on the screen, so you can go ahead and skip through the video and not have to watch the entire thing if you see something you like. However, I'm going to start right now, so I'm going to be moving pretty fast because this video is probably going to be pretty long. For the first set, we're going to be looking at some different types of seatings. Now all these seats work because I used my working seats, so we're going to start from the left hand side and work our way to the right. So the first one is just a a simple chair so if we get inside of the minecart we are now sitting inside of our chair now just keep it in mind many of these things will be seen in the rest of the video so as long as you know how to do it it'll be faster and faster the more you build these now you don't have to use the same color palettes that i did but i'm going to be using the exact same colors throughout the entire build so to start this one off right here we're going to place in two soul sand like this next place in stairs on both sides of your soul sand with pistons going into them so a piston here and a piston here next take out your back blocks i'm going to be using another brick the entire time so i'm going to place in two nether brick here and two nether brick like this then going into any part of the soul sand it doesn't really matter place in two powered rails with power going to your powered rails and then push a mine cart going into one of your soul sand blocks we can go ahead and get rid of the powered rail on that and then push this mine cart over to the middle area so go ahead and just push it like that right into the middle make sure it's exactly in the middle beautiful that there we go that should be good they're perfect and then go ahead and put redstone dust going into both of your pistons like i said i'm going to be moving fast guys so just make sure you follow along and then just send power to this redstone and that is it you are completely done so if i get inside the minecart i could sit in my couch and then i can go ahead and get out of it so now you can go ahead and collect your pistons and your redstone next we are going to be building a couch now you don't have to build your couch like this you can make it any design you want but we're going to break down three blocks with soul sand then we're going to go ahead and put dark oak wood stairs around the entire soul sand upside down so go ahead and round the whole entire thing with upside down dark oak wood like this and bring this one out one more right here next we're going to put power rails going into our soul sand so go like this one two one two send power to both of them and then send minecarts going into your soul sand break both of these powered rails and do it one more time in the middle send power to it and then push your minecart right over next break all of this area make sure your minecart is completely in there there we go perfect we're going to take out some slabs and place three slabs in right here take out your regular pistons and place pistons right behind all your slabs and then send power to your pistons and that is going to be your entire couch done so now you can have three different people sitting on this one couch next up we have a simple table with some seating i like to use these in restaurants or fast food areas so what we're going to do is break down two blocks like this and put some soul sand next take out a fence post and i like to use brown carpet you can use whatever colors you want though we're going to place in a fence post with brown carpet on top of it then we're going to go ahead and come up one more block on both parts of our soul sand place in rails on top of it place mine carts on top of your rails break these blocks let your mine carts fall into place they should not be able to move thanks to our soul sand then we're gonna go ahead and put two stairs facing inwards if you cannot place your stair in just push your mine cart like this a little bit over and then you can be able to place in your stair like that and your stair like that and put pistons on both sides and then just send power to your pistons it's gonna be the same thing over and over again guys i'm trying to go as fast as possible so this video isn't like a million years long next up we're going to be doing a simple bar stool so we're going to come up with a fence post then we're going to put a pressure plate on top of our fence post like this and then right behind our pressure plate we're going to place in an item frame to make our bar stool and then for the last one is a bit of a random one i'm pretty sure this is called the double decker couch all i know is i remember this thing from the lego movie i haven't seen that movie in god knows how long but i think i did pretty good on it this is just a double decker couch so what we're going to do is break down four blocks one two three four and then place soul sand inside the whole thing it's going to be the same thing over and over again guys for this one then we're going to take out some slabs place in two right here two right here and then i used the dark oak wood right here for the middle area now all we have to do is the same thing like we did over there for all the other ones we're gonna have to put two powered rails in send power to them and then push the mine carts over into the soul sand right here and right here and we're gonna break these three like that and then we're gonna place them right here and right here and send power to them and then hit the mine carts in once again now that we got that in the place get rid of all of this take out your stone stairs place stone stairs in front of all of them i'm sorry if i'm moving too fast but like i said this video is going to be extremely long guys so now we're going to place in all these pistons right here send power to your pistons like this so that's going to be our entire bottom area done so now i could sit in any one of these chairs if i really want to and then next just take out your item frames make sure you're looking at the hitbox of the stairs here i can see the hitbox and place an item frame here and place an item frame right here then off the back corners we're going to come up two more slabs and then put another two slabs right here then right on top come up two more one two one two and put two dark oak wood like so next take out your iron trap doors and place iron trap doors upside down along this entire area next take out some blocks and just bring up some blocks right here like this and come out two blocks because we're gonna have to push some mine carts over those iron trap doors so now we're gonna put two power rails right here 
to Power Rose right here, send power to him, put a minecart down, and then just push it over into your trap door. Same thing right here. Break all of these blocks right here and do it one more time. Send two power rails right here, two power rails right here, send power to them, and push your mine carts into place. Once you've got all that into place, break all of this. Take out your stone stairs and place in four stone stairs like that. Take out your regular pistons and place in four regular pistons back here with power going to them all to push in your stairs to your mine carts. Now that we've gotten all that into place, all we have to do is take out our item frames and make sure you're looking at the hitbox of the stair. Place an item frame right here. We can break all of these blocks like this and place another item frame on this side as well and then what we're going to do is take out some ladders and place some ladders on the side of it we don't really need to use the ladders but i like to do it anyway so we're going to put some ladders right here and right here and that is the entire thing done so if i get up here i can go inside the double decker couch right here or if i come down right here i can go inside the double decker couch down here next up on our list we'll be learning how to build some derpy looking lamps and or lighting sources so the first one is a very simple one all it is is glowstone underneath the carpet because if you did not know carpet does not stop any sort of light source next we're going to be building a lamp on top of a table so all we have to do is just dig down two blocks one two dig down two right here one two and place a redstone lamp right down here with a lever off of it and flip down the lever next we're going to put a piston on top of this the piston should extend up Place a brewing stand on top of your piston and then go into sneak mode and place in a sensor on the top of your brewing stand. Next, what we're going to do is take out our flooring block. I'm just going to take out smooth sandstone once again, fill this area up and then go around the entire thing with signs. Go around your entire piston with signs like this and then off the front one, we're going to place an item frame and then inside of your item frame, we're going to place in some light gray stained carpet. Now, I use light gray carpet for this entire thing. Anything you see with the drawer, I'm going to be using light gray carpet. So go ahead and place it in and then just keep flipping it until it reaches the top. And there you have a derpy looking lamp. Next up, we have a tall looking lamp. So all we have to do is just dig down two blocks, place in a piece of glowstone with an iron trap door upside down. Next, take out your fence post and place in three fence posts on top of your iron trap door. So go into sneak mode and go one, two, three and then place a sensor on top of it and there is another lamp that will give off a light source thanks to that glowstone next we have for modern builds a street light these will go on and off during the night and day so as you see it's off right now so once it turns nighttime it will turn on same one with this one so i'm going to build both of these and then i'll switch it to nighttime just to show you that they're working so to build this street light all we have to do is come up two slabs and then come up four cobblestone walls so one two three four place in two more slabs on top of this one one two and then come out two slabs upside down so one two and put a redstone lamp on the end place in three redstone dust here one two three with a sensor at the end as you can see it's on right now we don't want that so go ahead and left click on your controller or right click on a mouse to change it to a nighttime sensor and now for this last one which i actually never built before i saw this online and i thought it looked funny so all we have to do is come up three fence posts one two three place a redstone block on top of it and then right off the fence post we're going to come out one extra so we'll come out one here one here one here and one here and then come up right next to your redstone block and place in another row of fence posts then what we're going to do is take out our redstone lamps and place redstone lamps around the entire thing on each fence post like so. Next, we're going to have to place a sticky piston facing downwards into that redstone block. So just come up an extra block right here. Come right here and look down with a sticky piston and it should extend down into this once we place our sensor on top of it. So take out your daylight sensor, place it right on top of it. And as you can see, this sticky piston extended. Next, take out some slabs and place slabs around every single one of your redstone lamps. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to nighttime just to show you that these things do work. So I see on the day, they are not lit up. However, if I go into here and set it to nighttime like that, they should turn on next up i'm going to be teaching you how to build five different bathroom appliances now this is going to get a little bit more difficult because a bunch of this stuff actually works so over here is going to be a toilet this one doesn't work i do have a working flushing toilet however that's going to make this video a lot longer so to build the toilet all we have to do is place down a cauldron and put water inside a cauldron then right behind it we're going to put a quartz staircase backwards and then we're going to go ahead and place a quartz block right above it with a button off the side of it and then a trap door on top of it and there is our toilet and to make it look a little bit better what i like to do is just put slabs around the entire thing and there is our toilet completely done next up is my working shower stall now this one's just a bit harder to build when we flip down this lever the light comes on the water comes down and our door closes and then when i flip up the lever the water goes away the light turns off and the door reopens up so this one's going to get a little bit tougher but don't worry guys as long as you follow along you should be absolutely fine so what we're going to do is start off with stone slabs and we're going to break down three blocks so one two three and place stone slabs inside of all of these blocks and then right here we're going to break down two more one two 
take out your blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz and just fill in this whole entire gapped area with your blocks of choice like this then right down here we're going to put a iron trap door upside down so go ahead and take out your iron trap door and place it right here upside down this is going to be our drain for our shower stall next take out whatever blocks you want right here i like just using my slabs and we're going to place slabs going around this whole thing like this this is where our glass is going to be going you can choose whatever color you want for this then we're going to take out our blocks of choice once again and wrap it around this whole entire area do it one more time and then do it again one more time then right over here we're going to come up a block from where we're standing like this and this is where our lever is going to be going so come right back here come up two blocks and then go ahead and place in your, your lever right back here then off of the side of the block that our lever is on we're going to place in another block with some redstone dust on both of these blocks and then place two sticky pistons facing inwards so when i flip down this lever the door closes flip it up the door opens up door closes door opens up then we're gonna come right back over here and next to this redstone dust place another block with a redstone torch on top of the block and then right next to your redstone torch place in a sticky piston like this with a block of choice in front of it so when i flip down this lever the door will close and this will open up so flip it down this closed and that one opened up flip it up that one closed and that one opened up next we're going to put a block right here a block right here and then put a redstone lamp like this and then send power up to that redstone lamp so just come up one more piece of redstone dust like that so now our light should come on too so flip this down that opens up the light comes on and the door closes yada 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 so on and so forth then right here where the block is extended out we're going to put an extra block right here an extra block right here and another one like this with water inside this area then we're going to put a block right above our water so now our water will come down when we flip down the lever so flip it down the shower stall opens up clip up the lever and our shower stall closes so now all we have to do is take out any glass of choice you want to i'm going to be using a white stained glass and fill up three areas up like this and one more over and then we're going to take out our ceiling block of choice i'm just going to keep using quartz and fill in the top area of your glass and there is the entire working shower stall so if i flip this down the door closes the water comes down and then when i flip it up the water goes away and the door opens up and just make sure you also add in an extra block right here so when it opens up you can't see outside next up is a very simple working bathtub if we click this button the water comes out of our bathtub click it again and it goes down the drain so let's go ahead and start building this thing so what you want to do is just dig down two blocks and place two dispensers facing upwards with water buckets inside both of your dispensers next take out any color you want to use for your bathtub i'm going to be using white stained clay and just wrap it around the entire thing then right back here we're going to place in our walling blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz and we're going to come up three blocks with our walling of choice like that then right off of this block we're going to be placing a button so right underneath this block place in a piece of redstone dust right here with a button so now if i click the button the water comes out click the button again and the water goes away make sure you fill in this area with your block of choice so i'm just going to go ahead and take out smooth sandstone and then what i also like to do is i like to use a lever right here as my water spout for the top of the bathroom so click the button bathtub fills up click the button again and the bathtub goes away next up i'll be showing how to build a simple sink with a working medicine cabinet so as you see i went inside a minecart right here and then when we flip it down we can close up the medicine cabinet so to get things started off we're going to place down a cauldron and put some water in it and then we're going to put another block of choice this is going to be part of our cupboard and then we're going to go ahead and place in two item frames like this and then inside of both of these item frames we're going to go ahead and use our light gray stained carpet and just flip them around until they add up perfectly then right off the back we're going to put in our wall so go ahead and put in your wall like this take out a lever place a lever facing downwards that's going to be our water spout you can also use a hook if you want to and then i also like to go ahead and put an item frame right behind my lever then right here we're actually going to delete out this block place in another two blocks right here with two powered rails facing inwards towards this way so one two and then send power to your powered rails next we're going to take out a minecart with a chest place in your minecart with a chest and just push it this way until it's over that block now we no longer need these two powered rails or this right here and then place in a walling block like so then right behind it we're going to place another walling block behind your minecart and then right in front of it we're going to take out a bookshelf and place a bookshelf right here next take out a normal piston and now we're gonna have to send power to our normal piston pushing this bookshelf into this minecart so come out two more blocks one two and then face a piston inwards towards your bookshelf send power to it and that is your whole entire done so if i go inside of it like this we access the minecart so now all we have to do is just clean up this area like so and then what i also like to do is take out a trap door and place a trap door right here off the top of this bookshelf like this and close it for my medicine cabinet and now last but not least i'll be showing how to build a working mirror so if we hit this pressure plate right here an enemy or a villager will spawn and that's going to be our reflection inside the mirror if i back up 
they go away i could do it again boom and as you see now i am a zombie and if i back up and do it again now i am a villager once again i'm pretty sure i have a bunch of different ones in here uh man i keep getting villagers come on i know there's other ones in there we go i'm a pigman and if i let them go i'm a villain no whatever i know there's skeletons and creepers in there but they don't want to give it to me so to start things off with this one we're going to break down up two blocks one two break down two more next to it and break down two right above it and we're going to place in redstone dust along all three of these blocks one two three and then off of this one we're going to place in our block of choice right here with a pressure plate so if i hit it that redstone dust comes on back there next we're going to break down this block and then two more back here and place a redstone torch off the back place a block above your redstone torch with another redstone torch above it this one should go off so if i hit the pressure plate it comes on it goes off comes on it goes off next we're going to place a piece of redstone dust next to this torch break this block right here and place a sticky piston facing inwards so if i go ahead and hit this block now this should turn the piston up and then if i hit it again it should retract the piston back then right here we're going to dig down a bunch of blocks because this is where the enemies are going to be going to die so make sure you just dig down far enough or just put lava down there so they die so if i hit it it closes it up and then when i get off of it it will open it up letting the enemies drop down Next, we're going to place a dispenser right next to this off torch and go ahead and fill it with whatever you want. I'm just going to put a, go ahead and put villagers in there and now we can go ahead and test it out. So if I hit this, the villager comes out and then if I go away, the villager falls down and well dies. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this area. And now all we have to do is just put in our mirror and everything. So to place in our mirror is quite simple. Now I use cyan clay. You can use whatever you like, but I'm going to go two cyan clay blocks here, two cyan clay blocks here, and then a cauldron right here with water in it. Then right off of the cauldron, go ahead and place in some glowstone with any glass of choice you want right above it. Next, take out your walling block. I'm going to go ahead and use quartz. And we're going to fill in this back entire area with our walling block like this. And then right off the front, we're going to go ahead and put in the two doors. So one here, one here, and place in our light gray stained carpet right here to make our opening areas. And now all we have to do is come right back here and put two more blocks so our enemies can't get out. And that's the entire thing done. So if I go up to it, boom, villager comes out, looks at me, and then he falls down a pit and dies. Next up is an excuse to build potted plants. I mainly wanted to make this whole entire thing just put potted plants, but then I thought that'd be kind of bad. So I added a few trees and mulch and things like that. So starting off over here, we're going to build a window plant. So as you can see, we have a window right here with some potted plants up on the side of them. So we're going to come up with a nice wall like this. And we're going to put some windows in and then we're going to put two dirt blocks right here and then we're going to put trap doors around the entire thing like so and then what i like to do is put trap doors underneath it as well so just look right above it and place in two trap doors like that and now you can go ahead and place in whatever flowers that you like now for the main reason why i made this whole entire section we're going to make some potted plants so we're going to go ahead and place in a dirt block like this put trap doors around the entire thing doesn't really matter which way you put them and then go ahead and place in whatever kind of leaves you want i like using jungle leaves because i i don't know i feel like they look the best for the next pot of plant all we have to do is place down a cauldron go into sneak mode and place our leaves right above it and then the next one is an ender portal frame with an ender eye inside of it go into sneak mode and place your leaves right above it this one is more of a creative build Next one is going to be an anvil, and then we're going to go into sneak mode once again and place some leaves above it. Now, this one is actually my favorite, and I never really see it even though I do it, and that's using a cactus with a pot. So we just put down a pot with a cactus inside of it and then put leaves on top of it. I've actually used this for quite a bunch of different things than just a cactus, but we're going to, uh, come on, there we go, put some leaves on top of it. And then last but not least is a very easy one. All it is some iron bars and some signs, so place in an iron bar and put signs around the entire thing like this and then place leaves on top of it. And that's going to be all our different potted plants. Next for this one is going to be a nice looking garden tree. So all you have to do is come up with one fence gate and then come up with five leaves of your choice. So one, two, three, four, five, come all the way down to the bottom, skip the first one and place in two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that and one two and you can go crazy with these things you can make a bunch of different ones but this one right here is my main one that i go with i've actually used this one quite often and i used it on my redstone house easter egg edition and then last but not least is a very simple way of using mulch if you don't know what mulch is usually you'll see it in gardens and things like that but all you have to do is just use netherrack and then you could place in like bushes on top of the netherrack and things like that so it looks really nice in your garden area next up we're going to be looking at five different entertainment builds so starting over here we're going to be building a grand piano so all you have to do is put down a fence post skip one block put another fence post and place three slabs right along the tops of your fence post then right behind it, we're going to place in two rows of black stained clay or black wool one two another two back here like this 
with two more fence posts like so and there's a very simple grand piano next up is a working fish tank so if i click this button right here the fish come out of the fish tank so let's go ahead and jump right into this all you have to do is put two dispensers facing upwards and then place in fish now i'm on console so i don't have uh access to all the new different fishes but you can go ahead and add whatever fish you want then right on top of the dispensers place in two yellow stained carpets well why am i saying stained two yellow carpets then right to the side we're going to break down this block right here and this block right here and place in two pieces of redstone dust take out your walling block of choice place it right here with a button on top of it so if you click the button the fish should pop out of your dispenser then right in front of your dispenser place in two book shells and now i use a light blue stained glass for this i think it looks really good because it looks like water but you can go ahead and use whatever you like then right above it we're going to place in two slabs so go ahead and take out some slabs and place two slabs like this and then right here we're going to fill in the rest of our wall so i'm going to take out my walling block and just put it around the whole thing and place some back here as well and there is our entire working fish tank so if i click this button the fish come out and swim around the fish tank next we have a simple chessboard so all we have to do is just place down a note block right here delete out these two blocks and place in soul sand and then right on top of the soul sand we're going to place in more blocks place two rails on top of them place in two mine carts and break the blocks next face stairs inwards towards your mine carts with pistons going into the back of your stairs like this and then just send power to them and that's going to be the entire thing so now if you want to sit down and have a good chess or checkers game with your friend well you can't do that because it's minecraft next up we have a very simple billiards table so all we have to do is take out some stairs and put two stairs upside down put two slabs right in the middle of them upside down and then again on this side put stairs in upside down one here and one right here upside down and then place green carpet on top of it and there is a very simple billiards table and then last but not least we have a very simple dartboard so go ahead and take out your walling blocks of choice then we're going to break out this middle block place in a quartz block then right off the quartz block we're going to place in an item frame and then inside of your item frame place in either red wool or red stained clay and there you have a simple dartboard next up we have the miscellaneous pile this is where i just had some random ideas because well 50 sounds better than 45 so starting off we're going to be doing a quick easy shelving so we're just going to put a staircase upside down any color of your choice will do then come out two slabs upside down put another staircase over here upside down as well not right side up i said upside down no stop doing that there we go and then we're going to do is come up two fence posts on both sides put two more slabs right here one two put two here one two and then put two more in the middle upside down now you can go ahead and add whatever you want there i just see i put a flower pot some heads it doesn't really matter then we're gonna go ahead and put two item frames take out our light gray stained carpet and put them both upside down next up is some easy shelving on the side of the wall all we're going to do is take out some blocks of choice for our walling and then we're going to take out some slabs and put some slabs upside down one right here one right here one right here and then you can do a little fun design you can put some flower pots or anything you really want on there i went ahead and i did a bunch of mob heads next up we have a simple filing cabinet so what we have to do is come up two cyan clay blocks put in two item frames with two light gray stained carpets inside of both of them upside down and there you guys have a very simple filing cabinet that look good in business areas or inside of a computer room inside your house now this build right here is pretty much the main reason why i even made this miscellaneous thing and that is a clock i just love making these types of clocks so all we have to do is just have our blocks of choice in the back for our walling then we're going to place an item frame down here with a gold block inside of it and then right above it we're going to place in some iron bars then off to the side of it right here we're going to place in a spruce wood door here and here we got to make sure that our spruce wood door opens up like this on both sides so make sure yours opens up towards the left hand side and now on this one we don't have to do that all we have to do is just place it in and it should open up absolutely fine then right in front of it we're going to place in a, a jungle door and then right on top of it we're going to place in a slab and there you have a very simple clock to make and then last but not least is a modern tv so all we're going to need is some blocks of choice for our wall i'm going to be using quartz let's go ahead and come up three blocks for it so one two three then just take out some glass panes place them in both like this take out your painting and place a painting right on your glass panes and there you have a nice looking modern tv now it's time to build some kitchen appliances just like the bathroom appliances this one's going to be a little bit harder because pretty much every single one of them works here except for that last one down there that's pretty much just a poor excuse for a build so starting over here from the left hand side we're going to be learning how to build a working stove so if i go ahead and put coal right here as you can see our stove starts up however if your stove looks like this in real life you might want to get out of your house because it's probably not supposed to be doing that so to get things started off with this build what you want to do is break down a block and place in some soul sand next put a block right above your soul sand with a rail on top of it and a minecart with a furnace on top of that next break the block and let your minecart with a furnace fall into place next put up two blocks to the side of your furnace with a piston going into it and send power to your piston then right here off this block we're going to place in a painting try to get the yellow one because it looks the best it looks like the stove is on so i'm just going to keep placing in my paintings until i get that 
that yellow one. So, oh, man, I went past it. So let's come on. There we go. And then right over here, all we have to do is just push our minecart forward a little bit so it looks better on the front. There we have it. Next, what we're going to do is place in a detector rail on top of it. Then come up behind it with your walling block. So one, two, three. And then put a stair off the front hand side of it. And that is it. You are completely done. So if I go ahead and put coal inside of my stove, it will turn on. Next up, we have a very simple modern fridge. So if I click this button, we get food out of our modern fridge. So let's go ahead and start building this thing right away. We're going to place down two blocks, put two dispensers down, and then take out the blocks of choice you want for your modern fridge. I'm going to be using a light gray stained clay. So I'm going to come up three blocks, one, two, three, place the buttons off the front hand side. So now when I click this button, that dispenser should go off, go inside your dispensers and fill it with whatever food you like. I'm going to go ahead and just fill it with a bunch of random stuff. And now what we have to do is just put our walling of choice right around our fridge like this. And that is it. You are completely done. So if I click this button, I get food here. Click this button and I get food on this side. Next up, we're going to be building a working trash can. So if I throw items at my trash can, it will go inside of it. So if I go like that, boop, as you see, it went inside the trash can and it is gone. But however, when we're ready to take out the trash, all we have to do is just click down this lever, go inside this block right here and take out the trash. So to get things started off with this build, break this block right here and then come out one block over it place a rail on top of it place a minecart with a hopper on top of the rail break this block let it fall into there next take out your blocks once again and place four blocks up from here one two three four break the third one and place a piston facing downwards and send power to this piston so take out a redstone block just send power to it like that and then break all of these blocks so now if i throw anything towards this block right here it will get absorbed into the floor next we're going to place a cauldron right on top of it and now to take out the trash, all we have to do is just break down these two blocks. One, two, one, two. Place two pieces of redstone dust right here. And then place your blocks back. And then there's going to be a lever right off of this back area. So go ahead and take out a lever and place it right here. And then right here, we're going to dig down three blocks. One, two, three. Take out a sticky piston. Face a sticky piston upwards right here with a block of choice on top of it. So when we flip it up, it's up. And then when we flip it down, it comes down and we can take out the trash. So next up is actually my most favorite build out of everything. And that is a working pantry closet. So when we open it up, if I go in any one of these blocks, as you can see, there's a minecart in every single one of them. So I can put all of my food inside of my pantry closet. So this one's actually a little bit tougher to build. So to start off by building this thing, we're going to break down two blocks and place in two soul sand like this. And we're going to come out two power rails this way and two power rails this way. Next place a block above any one of these soul sand. It doesn't matter. But depending which side you put it on, this is the side we're going to have to start with. So send power to your powered rails, put down a minecart with a chest and push it towards your soul sand. Next, break this block and do the same thing on this side. Put power to this powered rail, put in your minecart and put it all the way over to that side. Next, we're going to take out our blocks of choice for our walling. I'm going to place one here and I'm going to place one right here. Now, if you cannot place it, if you cannot place the block in, just place it one over, put a piston here and send power to it like that. Next, place in two bookshelves right here and put pistons facing inwards towards your bookshelf. So we're going to go like this real quick. Place two pistons here, two pistons here, and send power to both of them. Now, the next one, we will not be able to use soul sand, so make sure you do not touch them. So go ahead and put two more blocks out this way, and then go ahead and put power rails on top of them. Send power to your powered rails, and then we're going to go ahead and take out our minecarts and send them this way. So first, put a block here, take your minecart out, and push it towards that block. Break this block and do the same thing on this side. Put your minecart here, and then just push it towards that block. Next, break all of this break all of this and now we're going to put a block out right here and then we're going to come out with a piston on this side and then we're going to send power to the piston pushing the block towards there so go ahead and send power to it and do the same thing on this side as well put a block right here put a piston off to the side of it like no not like that why is it doing that <laughs> put a piston off to the side of it like that and send power to it there we have it next what we're going to do is put some blocks right back here now if you cannot place the blocks back here if you can't place them just place them one more out like this and put pistons facing inwards towards your blocks one here and one on this side as well and then just send power to them above them like that now we can go ahead and get rid of all these blocks make sure you just send power to every single one of them and now all that's left to do is the same exact thing we did down here up here and that is to take out our bookshelves and place two bookshelves in front of our mine carts like this and then we're going to pretty much just come out an extra one like that right here place in our pistons facing towards our bookshelves and then send power to our pistons like that and that is our entire cupboard done or pantry closet so if we go right here we can go inside the minecart like this go inside this minecart go inside this minecart go inside this minecart so now all we have to do is just fill up this top area and now all that's left to do is just place in our spruce store so place our spruce store here and here and if it's not going the right way all we have to do is just break it like this and just re-put it back in and there you guys have a working pantry closet and last but not least is just our poor excuse of a build it's just a sink so we're going to place down two cauldrons send water into it come up two blocks on both sides place item frames right behind it one blue one red and one for red so it's hot and cold take out your hooks and place a hook 
right here off the block place another hook off the block and there you have a sing eighth on the list we have some bedroom decorations so starting over here from the left hand side we're going to build some bunk beds so come up two blocks like this place in a bed delete the two blocks underneath it and place in another bed take out some spruce doors place a spruce door here place a spruce door here and then place some spruce wood right behind it and there you have some bunk beds you don't need to put the wood right here because if you really want to then you could put some more bunk beds right next to each other if you're making like let's say a ship or something like that a battleship or something you can have a bunch of bunk beds right next to each other for the people they'll sleep in next up we have a bed with a nice headboard so all we have to do is place in two beds then right off the beds we're going to place in some item frames so go into sneak mode place in some item frames and then place in some signs right behind the item frames like so and then inside the item frames place in some slabs one here one here and then just flip them sideways like that and that's going to be the front hand side of our bed then place in a two oak wood blocks here and then two stairs like this and there you have a nice bed with a headboard next up is a very simple armoire so as you see if i open it up we have our clothes right back there inside of our armoire so all we have to do is put in two stairs like this one two place in another two stairs right above these ones one two and then place in two slabs and now you can use whatever type of door you want i'm going to be using spruce so i'm going to place a spruce wood door here a spruce wood door here take out some bookshelves and fill in the back area with bookshelves so now when you open up your armoire so let's say right here is going to be the walling of your house you won't be able to see the books on the side so if i open it up there is our clothes or whatever you're going to call it in the back of your armoire. Next up, we have a computer desk with chair and a laptop. So all we have to do is come right over here, break down a block, put in some soul sand. Then right on top of the soul sand, place a block in with a rail and a minecart. Break the block, put a piston facing this way with our stair of choice going here. So what I'm going to use is my, I guess I'll use another brick stairs once again, and then send power to your piston to push it into place. Next, we don't need all of this. So let's go ahead and put all of that away. Then right over here, we're going to put a stair upside down like this, and we're going to come out two more slabs so one two actually three one two three and then put another staircase right here upside down like that then right in front of your chair place in a pressure plate and right off the back of it place in a sign like this get out of the sign go ahead on this side and place in a painting on this side and there we have a laptop then right over here in the corner i just placed in a slab so it looks like a printer and then last but not least we are going to build a working tv so if i flip down this lever the tv comes on you can't really see it too good but if i flip up on as you can see it's going on and off just a tiny bit you should be able to see it so let's go ahead and start building this thing so the first thing you want to do is dig down two blocks one two one two and then do it here as well one two one two and once again one two one two then right here we're going to place two blocks with two redstone torches on top of it and two repeaters right here and redstone dust right behind it then right above these torches we're going to place in two bookshelves so one two and then we're going to place in two redstone lamps on top of these bookshelves so take out some redstone lamps and place them on top of your bookshelves as you see they're on right now then right around the rest of the lamps, we're going to take out black stained clay or black wool and place it right around your lamps. And then right down here, we're going to place in some more bookshelves. And now you can go ahead and try to get whatever painting you want. I like that painting the most, but you can do whatever you want. I like to place in two trap doors here as well. And then right in the middle, we're going to place in two item frames with our light gray stained carpet right here and right here just like that now any power going to this redstone dust will turn on and off your TV. So if I put a lever right here and I flip it down, the TV goes off and the tv goes on so we're going to just fill in this area so if you want to make a couch and bring this redstone over to the couch and put your lever over there to turn it on and off your tv you can go ahead and do that but i'm just going to leave my lever right here so tv goes on well i mean tv goes off and then tv goes on so all we have to do is take out a painting now and place a painting right above it you could try to get a good painting i don't really know but that's fine so there we go tv's on tv's off tv's on TV's off. Ninth on our list, we have some outdoor builds. So starting over here from the left-hand side, we're gonna be building a simple wheelbarrow. So what we have to do is come up a block and put a slab upside down with trap doors on the side of them. Make sure they go down. These are gonna be the wheels to your wheelbarrow. Come out one more slab right here. And then off the front-hand side, we're gonna put in a fence gate, open it up, and then put a hay barrel right here at the end. Put another trap door right here and open it up. And there is a very simple wheelbarrow. Next up, we have an outside swinging chair. Now I decided not to make this one a working seat because the minecarts made it look weird. So we're going to place down two stairs. We're going to come up two fence posts on both sides like this. And then we're going to put string right across the front hand side and then place in white carpet here. Gray carpet here, white carpet, light gray carpet like that. And then put in four more pieces of string off this part right here. So string here, 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 and right here. And place in more white carpet right here. Gray, white, gray. And there is a very simple outside swinging chair. Third, we have a working grill. So if I take out some coal and I put coal right here and I put coal right here, as you can see, our grill ignites and it's going to cook up our pork chops and steak. So to start things off, we're going to break these two blocks, place in some soul sand, put a block right above your soul sand and put a rail right here with a a minecart with a furnace on top of it 
break this block, let it fall into place, do the same thing one more time, my car with a furnace, break the block, let it fall into place, and then we're going to go ahead and put two slabs up here, and two slabs up here on this side, place in a piston, and send power to your piston, do the same thing on this side, piston, send power to it, and push the blocks right into place. Next, we're going to put two stairs on top of it, upside down, so put a stair right here, upside down, a stair right here, upside down, and then place a slab off the side of the block right here. If you cannot place it, just keep pushing the minecart over a little bit, so you can go ahead and place it in like that, and the same thing on this side, if you can't place it in, just make sure you just push it over, and you should be absolutely fine. Next, take out your item frames and place one right here. Place one right here. Take out your light gray stained carpet and place two carpets in like this. And that's going to be our door. So now if we take out our coal and we put it on this side of it and there we go. And this side, it should ignite your grill next up we have an outside wood cooker now there's actually a story behind this um one of my friends where i lived in the past had one of these and his dad paid us a hundred dollars to break it down and i remember hitting it with a sledgehammer and one of the bricks smacked my friend in the head so i decided to make this so it's a very simple build all we have to put down is some nether rack set it on fire and then put two bricks right here take out some stairs and put a staircase right here and a staircase right here put some bricks back here place another brick right back here in the backhand side and place a stair here place a stair here and place a stair up like this and then we're going to come up just a few more on top i think i went three one two three and then on top of it, we're going to place a stone slab and that is going to be our outside wood cooker and it actually looks exactly the same as the one we broke down and he got smacked by that brick in the head and now last but not least is just an outside park bench so if i get inside one of these mine carts we are now sitting outside at a park bench so it's a very simple build if you have been following along this whole entire time it's gonna be the same thing again we're gonna go ahead and delete out three blocks one two three and place in soul sand like this and then just skip over three blocks one two three and do the same thing over here place in some soul sand then off the two outside one first we're gonna place in blocks and put powered rails like this and then put one in the middle like that and do the same thing on this side do the outside two first place in powered rails then place in your minecart so one here one here one here one here and then break the two outside ones like this and now do the middle one so we're going to place in our power rail here power rail here place in your minecart break it and let it fall in place same thing here break it let it fall into place then we're going to go ahead and take out our stairs and place them in if you cannot place in your stairs just push the minecarts over just a tiny bit like that and then place in your stairs, take out your normal pistons and place in your normal pistons right behind your stairs facing towards them, not up. There we go. And then all we have to do is just send power to our pistons. So send power to them. There we have it. Now we're going to have to do the same thing on the other side as well. And you know what? I should have been placing in the pistons first the entire time. That probably would have made things so much easier this entire video. But what can you do? So we're going to place in our stairs. Then we're going to send power to our pistons like this. And now we can go ahead and break all of this. Now all we have to do is just put in our fence post, one here and one here. If you cannot put it in, just make sure to push it over just a tiny bit like that. And you should be able to put it in. Same thing over on this side. And then place two string down here. Take out your brown carpet and just place in brown carpet right along the top hand side of it. And there you'll have yourself a nice little park bench. Now I can go ahead and sit in any one of these seats. And last but not least, we're going to be looking at five different fans. Yes, it's kind of a weird way to end this video, but... It's kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> I did quite a lot of ideas here. So what we're going to do is start off by making this first big industrial fan right here. So we're just going to come up five blocks, well, four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then place in a redstone lamp right here and turn it on. And then coming off the top of it, we're going to place in two slabs on every single side, making ourselves an industrial fan. So there's our first fan. Next up, we're going to make a nice little house ceiling fan. So we're going to come up, let's say, let's go up only three blocks this time. So one, two, three. And then what you're going to have to do is put a slab upside down right here so we'll put a slab upside down and then coming off every single side of the slab we're going to go ahead and put in iron trap doors or regular trap doors it really doesn't matter and then go ahead and put a fence post on top of it this is going to make our nice little house fan then next we're going to make one of those fans that are on the floor that go back and forth back and forth kind of deal so what you're going to do is come up two fence posts and we're going to put in two slabs one two put an iron trap door right here then off the backhand side of our iron trap door we're going to go ahead and put in a lever and flip oh, not a fence post a lever flip down the fence the lever so now it looks like a fan and then off the side of it i went ahead and i put an iron bar as well you don't really have to do that but i had a fan that looked like that one time and then i'm going to put a white carpet on top of it and now we're going to have one of those fans that kind of goes like this like that beautiful next up we're going to have an air conditioning unit i know that's not really a fan but air conditioning units do have fans in them so this is for the like, tops of buildings and things like that if you maybe you're making like a city you could put air conditioning units on top of your buildings so all you have to do is just put in four blocks like this and then on top of the four blocks take out some rails and place in rails like that so it looks like the top fan part of your air conditioning unit you could also put it on the side of the house i guess and then what i like to do is just take out slabs and go like this so it looks like you're bringing the ac around the entire building you know you can bring it out any which way you kind of you 
what kind of want to make it look a lot different so it doesn't look crazy but uh make it look nice i guess and now last but not least we're going to be building a tiny simple little desk fan so what we're going to do is start off by making our desk first we'll go ahead and put in a upside down stair like that no come on upside down stair then we're gonna put a slab in put another stair put another stair upside down just like that and then right here we're gonna put a slab in the middle then right next to our slab we're gonna place in a full block with a lever coming off the side of it then we're gonna come up a block right here and place a piston going this way and then go ahead and put a trap door in front of your block once you switch this down it should go right in the place in front of your slab so boop and it goes perfectly into place and all we have to do is just break all of this stuff right here and now you are absolutely done and there you guys have it that is how you build 50 different minecraft build slash decorations that should help improve your minecraft world if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace